Many counties along the Wabash River still under a flood warning. Same thing with the Iroquois River up to the north because some of these locations are still under moderate flood stage. And there's still more rain in the forecast to talk about. We have spotty rain showers showing up on our radar this midday. Not a washout, however, a few light showers are showing up. And then we also had about six tenths of an inch northeast of Lafayette. And these are radar estimate rain totals within the last 24 hours. The highest amount was around Kokomo and Howard County. More than six tenths of an inch coming in at 6500 just north of Kokomo. We still have continual spotty showers possible during the afternoon and evening hours. And then it looks like we'll have a brief break overnight before another wave moves in along a cold front, bringing us another round of showers and storms as we start the day. Multiple storm chances, however, going to stay in the forecast in the week ahead, plus cooler temperatures. High temperatures only expected to stay in the upper 70s and lower 80s when our average is just around 85 degrees for this time of year. We're sitting at 69 degrees at this hour. Still, skies are overcast. Winds out of the southeast just around 5 miles per hour. Hour with temperatures staying in the upper 60s area wide. 67 for Logansport, 68 Crawfordsville, and currently 68 degrees as well for Williamsport. Here's a look at your afternoon forecast. We should rise into the mid 70s around 4 o'clock and still seeing those rain chances all throughout the afternoon and evening. And then we'll have highs staying in the lower 70s to the north and the mid 70s down to the southern half of the viewing area. 73 for Kokomo, also 73 degrees for Logansport. A straight shower possible this evening. However, sky should turn mostly cloudy by midnight tonight with temperatures falling into the 60s, mid 60s around midnight with an overnight low in the lower 60s to the southern half of the viewing area, upper 50s up to the north, 59 for Remington and also overnight low of 59 degrees for Fowler. Tonight will, or excuse me, tomorrow rising to 80 degrees, mostly cloudy skies throughout the day. However, another chance for scattered showers and thunderstorms rolls in by Tuesday. This shows around the lunch hour still seeing continual storm chances until we get to Wednesday. Then we'll have a brief break from the rain showers and also into Thursday and then another round moves in by Friday of this week. But notice these temperatures staying in the mid to upper 70s by the middle part of the week when our average high is just around 85 degrees. 78 on Wednesday, 20% chance for a thunderstorm or shower lingering early in the morning and then we should get drier throughout the day. Mostly cloudy on Thursday, 79 degrees, slowly climbing right back up into the lower 80s by next weekend. However, dealing with this chance for thunderstorms on Friday, Saturday looks good for the 4th of July. We looks mostly dry, and then we should have partly cloudy skies, lower 80s. Looks great if you have outdoor.